Uh, you guys had the song, uh, the official video for Judy French bringing up that song again uh, with Alexandra uh, Daddario. Daddario, uh, yeah. Amazing actress. I fell in love with her in Hall Pass was the first movie that I saw her in. Um, how did that? How did that come about? Like, uh, do you guys? Is that through the label? Is that through a mutual friend? Uh, it was this great director. His name's Brandon Dermer, and he's done a bunch of really cool stuff um, over the years: music videos and movies and TV shows. And he's a really cool guy, and kind of just like a big dreamer and like a big like we can do this. Like never, never think that you can't do something crazy kind of guy. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, I think it kind of goes back to the like, like I was saying, like the Bruce Springsteen vibe we were going for. So I think the literal like idea is like, you know, I, the blanking on the song name, but the video is like Courtney Cox as a young Courtney Cox is. Oh, right, right. Yeah. What is she the, like in the crowd or something like and that? Then she in pull, the comes up on stage and sings the song. Yeah, I don't remember what song it is, but I remember the it's music one of the video. it's one of his biggest songs. I, can, I know I can it's from the it was, yeah, it was like the late eighties. <laughs> yeah. someone could could put it in the comments, or he's googling it right now. He's yeah, I got, I got it. Uh, we'll, it's we'll it's go, dancing yeah. in the dark. It's it's dancing, dancing in the dark. That's yeah. what it is. Yep. <laughs> I'm terrible at recalling information. So. Dude, by, by the way, don't don't even worry about it. You're on a podcast where that's like what we do all the time is we go like, you remember that one thing from that other thing? <laughs> yeah. and, and me and Brandon and Sam go back and forth usually on it. And then, we've, and then we joke like, oh, if only there was something that we could look it up. You know? Look it up immediately. <laughs> yeah. No, that's what we, we got to come up with. A, we, there has to be a podcast. It's like no phones, no Googling podcasts. Oh, oh, man. And it's just like, you know, 2006 again, where you're just fighting over, fighting with someone over stuff. <laughs> but it's got to be all trivia based. All trivia, trivia based. All yes. trivia based with no phones, no. Oh. Or, yeah, all right. Something. When you come, when you come back, okay. we'll, we'll have the whole band. Next time, yeah. next time we'll get the whole band White Reaper on. We'll get a whole, we'll get a whole round table going. And we'll, we'll, we'll do a full podcast like that. That was, that was like my college experience because it was kind of before everybody had an iPhone. So right. we would just be sitting around and you know someone would say something and then someone else would be like, I don't think that's true. And, <laughs> and then the you'd be like, ensue. then you just yell at each other. And then the bets. <laughs> and then you got to yeah, bet. bet. And then someone has to go to the desktop computer in the other room and Google it and be like, <laughs> I told and you, you hear from the other, yep. <laughs> <laughs> you hear from the other room. You motherfucker. And then you just got to leave. You just got to leave the party of that point. <laughs> yeah, you're like, fuck, dude. How am I going to afford buying this motherfucker a beer? Uh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Brandon Dermer, he was kind of like, let's do like the Courtney Cox thing and sent out a bunch of emails to a bunch of young starlets. And Alexandra Daddario was great, was amazing. She was phenomenal, super great to work with, professional, incredibly professional. It was cool. It was very fun. Yeah. So you guys, super you guys had yeah. obviously had interactions with her too then. Yeah. And uh, was she aware of your band before she was hit up on that? Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say she might be a fan now? Maybe she came to the show after. So we, it was like one of those things where we filmed the music video and then had to leave and go immediately to sound check. And okay. Like, because like all of our gear that was in the video is also like the gear that we're using to play the concert. So <laughs> That's awesome. Then, we had to like uh, literally load out. No props. No props. <laughs> yeah, no props. <laughs> uh, but she came to the show. She was awesome. It was super fun. It was at the Troubadour, which is you know, oh yeah, one I love of the, the Troubadour, one of the best venues in the world, and it was so sick. 